Vida Oh, I love you Beautiful Grenada Your sun and water is so true Beautiful Grenada God bless you At approximately 12 degrees north latitude and 61.7 degrees west longitude is Grenada. 120 square miles in size of volcanic in origin. Kaku is approximately 20 miles north of Grenada and 13 square miles in size. Piti Matnik is approximately 2.5 miles away from Kaku and 586 acres in size. Grenada, then known as Camahorn by the indigenous Caribs, was sighted by Christopher Columbus on 15th August 1498 and called La Concepcion after the Santa Maria de la Concepcion. From 1500, the name Mayo was used on some maps, and after 1523, the name Granada was also used. In 1627, King Charles I of England granted the right to colonize the Lesser Antilles to James Hay, 1st Earl of Carlisle. In 1635, the French Company of St. Christopher was renamed Company of the Islands of America and was granted authority to colonize the islands of the Lesser Antilles. In March 1649, a shareholder named Jacques Diel du Parquet, along with approximately 200 adventurers, established a settlement on an island known as La Grenade, French name for Grenada. However, by mid-1650, the company was bankrupt, so in September, Duparquet purchased the island. By 1657, he had spent a considerable sum defending his settlement from Carib attacks. In worsening health, he sold the island to the Count of Serilac. In 1665, Serilac sold the island to the French West India Company, which was established by royal edict dated 28 May. 1664. The construction of Fort Royal began in 1667. It was designed by the French engineer Nicolas Francois Blondel. In 1674 the French West India Company was dissolved and its assets which included the colony of La Grenade was acquired by the French Crown. During the Third Dutch War the pirate Jan Erasmus Reining in December 1674, raided slaves from four estates along the coast of La Grenade Island, and in March 1675, he along with Urien Arnouts and others captured Fort Royal, but surrendered when all the food stored there was consumed. The 1700 population census showed a total of 257 whites, 53 free-colored persons, and 525 slaves. Also, there were three sugar estates and 52 indigo plantations. The French Dominican, Labat, visited the colony in September 1700 and felt that it was underdeveloped with inadequate fortification. In 1705, the town was relocated to its present site and from 1706 to 1710, Fort Royal was extended. In 1714, French colonies in the Lesser Antilles were placed in an administrative grouping known as the Isles du Vons, or Windward Islands. Under this arrangement, the governor of La Grenade was subordinate to the grouping's head, who was stationed at Martinique. The magic of her grace, green leaves and picturesque mountainside. In September 1720, Captain Bartholomew Roberts, the infamous pirate, spent a few days in Karakou, repairing his ship known as the Good Fortune. The name Karakou was derived from a translation of the Carib name for that island. In 1738, a charity hospital for the care and treatment of the sick was established. Its main income was the profits of an adjoining sugar estate. In January 1749, Louis Lejeune, militia commander of the parish of Sartes, was recommended for knighthood in the military order of St. Louis. 
which was instituted in 1693 by King Louis XIV. The 1753 population census showed a total of 1,263 whites, 175 free colored persons, and 11,991 slaves. On 4 March 1762, British forces dispatched by General Robert Mockton captured the colony of La Grenade, which the British renamed Grenada. Grenada is part of a changing world. The Earth's atmosphere contains greenhouse gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, etc. These gases control the rate at which heat leaves our atmosphere. The less greenhouse gases are there, the colder our planet will be, and the more gases are there, the warmer our planet becomes. Some gases may be released from natural systems as well as from human activity, and the latter is of great concern. Although nitrous oxide is emitted from bacteria in our soil and oceans, the growing use of nitrogen fertilizers is contributing to an increase of this greenhouse gas. Also, our use of coal or petroleum products in electricity generation and petroleum products used in motor transport releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And our deforestation practices is compounding this problem as there are gradually less trees to recycle this greenhouse gas into oxygen. The end result is that our planet's temperature is increasing and there are problems associated with this. An increasing Earth's temperature increases the rate of retreat of mountain glaciers, bringing closer their eventual disappearance. This would spell problems to communities who depend on the springtime melting of these glaciers for their water supply. An increase in Earth's temperature advances the thawing of permafrost in high latitude regions. Permafrost is a thick subsurface layer frozen two years or more. This thawing may result in the release of methane, a greenhouse gas. In addition, as the land foundation resettles, buildings and roads are damaged. An increase in Earth's temperature also increases the sea surface temperature and may result in the bleaching of corals, making them susceptible to diseases. This phenomenon may also occur when ocean absorbs some of the increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, resulting in the water becoming acidic. An increased sea surface temperature provides an environment for increased hurricane activity. It also advances the melting of the polar ice caps, thus raising the sea level, threatening low-lying coastal communities. The economy of tourist-dependent countries and groundwater wells near the coastline. What can we do? We can promote awareness of the effects of a warming planet by using the television, radio, the internet, or just speaking one-on-one -on -one with another person. Here are some things we can tell them to do to help lessen the impact.
man, I show that many people will agree. If I say she's blessed by the Almighty, oh God, the standard of skills and talent we have down there in this land. It is too much for me to mention. Yeah. The level of education keep rising to higher. 